we're going to learn about JavaScript prototype. And guess when we are starting? <laughs> That's right. Right now. Let's, let's see what a property is. So here I have created a function that acts as a constructor. It's actually a video. You can make video objects from it. And here I have made one called V with some title that I'm passing on. And also I have created this uh, object literal. And prototype is just a property that you have on every object in JavaScript. So here if I create a nums array and assign it three values, then if I print out this array by doing console.log and printing out nums, I'll also actually print out all these objects so you can see that they all have property inside them. And by the way, the shortcut for console lock is CLG. And if you press enter, then this automatically uh, fills itself. So I'm going to uh, print out V and I'm also going to print out person. And now if I go inside my browser to check out this app and refresh, then I'm going to see all my objects printed out my V, person, and nums. And here in this video object I have over here, you can see that we have this proto object that has constructor, another proto object, that, and some methods. And you can see that this, this is the object literal, and the object literal even has a proto object. And because they're all objects, the video that I made, the object literal, and the number, the nums array, they're all, they all have prototype. And if I go inside here and just now print the type of these uh, objects, you can see they're all of type object. If I do type of, and then type of here, then you're going to see their all object, and that's why they have this property on them. Let's see how can you access this prototype. So you can access this prototype not on the instances of some class or some constructor like this like video is, but you can access prototype on uh, the type itself. So this object of type video, basically it's an object type, but it's vi the video class, or if you want to call it or constructor, you can access the, this prototype property in which you can store methods and other properties etc uh, to access you can just call up video this thing that we make objects from and say dot property or mean prototype and you can add in another uh, methods or properties by just doing dot in the name of the property which let just be description and I'll just give it some this and now if I console log this V if I go inside my console then if I you can see uh, I've console logged this video object with this prototype object and if I expand this you can see that, that now we have added this description property with the value of some description and by the way yes now we're going to I'm going to now, now every instance I needed to mention every instance of video will have this description property in this prototype so if I make for example video 2 and again initialize it by this constructor and then if I console log this video too, and this is the first one, uh, that will sound fine because I didn't pass any title. And if I expand upon this, I'll uh, see that again I have this description as well here in my video v2 object and here in my other v object. So this whatever I whatever property I add to this prototype. I inherit basically, I have in every instance of this 
video object that I make now I forgot to mention something I'm gonna going to clear out this prototype or actually I'm not going to and I'm going to clear out everything from here also this and I want to show you friends that this nums array has objects and if I console log this array and go inside my browser and if I expand this I have this prototype here that's not prototype but underscore underscore proto underscore underscore and if I expand this I have all these uh, kind of yeah there are functions as you can he see here that we can use on this array and even though they are stored in the proto object you can use them just by just doing like pop just accessing them right away after the nums you you don't need to access that proto and then access an an object and let's see what what's the difference between this dash dash proto and the one that we've accessed it over here uh basically this one. well this prototype is only available on the type itself and this dash dash i mean underscore underscore proto that we have over here is only accessed you can only access this or it's only available in in the instances of this video object so if i if i now i can actually what i can do is uh to this numbers area i can say dot underscore underscore and say pro and i again underscore underscore and this way i can print out this uh proto here so what's the difference they're both actually the same thing but if i add a function on this instance or actually on this in video instance i add in some title to its proto type then i would not have that uh method that i added on every other instance and if i add a method or property on this prototype on the type which is on the type actually i'll have i'll have it on every instance